All right, y'all. Heading over to uh, the tournament. It's going to be in Wicomico. I call it Wicomico um, County. It's looking like I have the weather today, what I was supposed to have yesterday. Because uh, yesterday it was just hot. But uh, we, we will see. But this uh, this will be pretty fun. It's, it's supposed to be a place that is private majority of the time but they're gonna make it public today from what they told us was that they brought the levels of this lake up a lot so I looked at it on uh, Google Earth and got some ideas of some locations but definitely definitely actually bigger than what I thought it would be so that's kind of cool um, yeah I'm just looking forward to fishing it Got a check in right behind me. Gonna go over here and check in and get ready to go fish. Thank you all for supporting this. We didn't know how much, how many people we could get, and we set a minimum or a maximum, and we got it, and we really appreciate it. We're glad you all are here, near and far, and uh, we really, really hope you have a good day and you enjoy this place. <laughs> kayak here look at all this i just throw that over got, got camouflage with me old plastics it's one heck of a day one heck of a day when i never trespassed here i can tell i can tell how about it thank you again <laughs> this was kind of a harebrained idea to try to bring awareness about the sport of kayak angling to Wicomico County. Working closely in conjunction with Mr. White, Mark Whitelock, he's the superintendent of the landfill, and uh, if we could all give him a round of applause for this beautiful Mark didn't want to say many words, but he's been with Wicomico County for 30 plus years, and specifically as a superintendent of the landfill here late. And he's just, like I say, put in a lot of hard work and effort with his manpower and equipment and to make this look like what it looks today. I told a few of you earlier in the, in the day, prior to our event, you could not see this pond. It was literally choked up just like that over there. So we've got a nice spot now that we can have kids. And uh, the county park and recs is talking about this being our experimental first round of a tournament opening up a year-long tournament series sponsored by Wicomico County. And we're also going to work to have more kids events up here. And just to let everybody know, the proceeds from today's tournament are going directly to the Park and Rec Department to benefit the kids. They're going to buy new fishing rods, tackle, and everything else so they can have even more events. So again, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate everybody supporting this. This is a dream come true. We didn't know how much response we would get. And, you know, to have everybody here standing in front of me, I, I'll tell you, it's I'm happy as I can be about it, and I hope y'all had a lot of fun. I really, really do. And it was pretty tight, guys. It was pretty tight. And then stick around, folks, because you got your uh, raffle ticket for the door prizes when you signed up this morning. We've got some great gear that Survival Products has brought here. Local shop in Salisbury, Maryland that I've been involved with for over 15 years, even farther than that when I was a young Boy Scout getting all our camping gear from that store. Uh, they're kind of our, hot, our heart 
right here in this area. So uh, we appreciate them being involved. Joe Pagliar is the assistant manager for the store. So to start out in third place with 54.50 inches and $75 on the money, Mr. Trevor Zartman. Oops. for the kids. And in second place, with 56 inches all on the dot, Mr. Matt Eichenberg, $150 a month. All right, number one man, three hundred dollars money. First loser, Charles Beeler, fifty-seven point seven five. Good job. Yeah. Good job.